think that uh, that's a necessary part of the process in the big picture? Um, Downtime? I think in anything in life that, you know, it's good to always pull back and just have an overview of what you're doing. And a lot of people, you know, work uh, with a grind and, and can't afford to do that. Right. And I feel very privileged that I was able to do that. Great. Hey, Shondell, thanks for the call. Love the name, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yep. Be See you, Saskatoon. I love your city. Bye, Corey. Bye-bye. Let's come back. We've lit up the board. People want to talk to Corey Hart. You can also see him tomorrow night across the country on the CBC, 8 o'clock. Corey Hart and his new CD, I should remind you again, it's self-titled. There it is, and everybody's speaking glowingly of it. Let's speak glowingly to Corey Hart when we come back with more in a moment, live on Life. Rosie, here's the carpet you ordered. Wait, Matt, let's see. We're back with Corey Hart. Let's go to Christine in Newfoundland, live on Life. Hello, Christine. Hi. Hi, Hi, Corey. Hi, Christine. I'm, I can't believe I'm actually getting it so long. I'm really glad you're back. Thank you very much. Your new CD is just excellent. I was wondering if you have any um, plans to tour Newfoundland. Um, on this leg of the tour, we're not going to be uh, on the rock, <laughs> but uh, hopefully in the summer I'm going to do a more extensive tour uh, of Canada. And uh, I have very fond memories. I opened up my uh, Boy in the Box tour in uh, St. John's and and um, I loved it up there, and uh, I hope that uh, I'll be back uh, on that summer tour. Yeah, I went to see that, that concert. It was really good. That's why I was hoping you'd come again. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks for calling. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for the call. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand. You also are a man of the land in a fashion. You've got a farm, don't you? No. I thought you were a, a tomato grower. I saw that in uh, the notes, and I said, I wait a minute. Uh, What's uh, that all about? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, I think I was being facetious tonight. I thought so too, but I they said, fought me on that. Did they? they yeah. Do I look like a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> no, a gentleman farmer maybe. Well, maybe, eh? Yeah. Uh, no, I wanted to grow tomatoes, and I did try a small little patch of land to, to grow some tomatoes, and, you know, I wanted these, um, the kind that they grow in Tuscany, you know, and I tried to grow them in Quebec, and it didn't work very well. There you go, John. This is one of those, well, you see, that's all part of the creative process. You need to feel like something is developing. Yeah, it was during my drive period, actually. Yeah. Uh, the, but the tomatoes didn't bloom. Do tomatoes bloom? <laughs> yes. I, I have it on good authority they do. Okay. Like, that's one thing I know about. I'm going to fool you here. You know, when, when you made a whack of cash early on, I, I was in Montreal. I remember that period. And, uh, I mean, you lit up the town. Everybody was really proud of the local boy making good. And... Uh, I just wonder at the time, at 21, like, what did you, did you go out and splurge, maybe pick up a couple of big ticket items? No. No, I'm no. not, uh, not materialistic at all. It's uh, never was my motivation. It's, it's never been my, uh, my priority or any, uh, I've never made decisions in my career based on, on money. And there's a hell of a lot of things I could have done uh, financially that would have benefited me that I just refused to do because... What kind of thing? Well, for example, um... When sunglasses at night was uh, was a big hit in the states, uh, you know Ray Ban was the glasses that I happened to wear in the video, and they had had contacted me and had offered me a, a large amount of money to do uh, uh, a commercial endorsing you know their product and you know change the lyrics around a little bit to the song and I wear my Ray Bans at night or something like that. Wow. But uh, it's just not. It was never about money. It's not about money. I mean, obviously. There's a security that comes with that and, and, a, and, a, and a security to create and a freedom that that brings and, you know, for my family, but uh, it's never been my, uh, my God. Very good answer to that. Let's keep it moving on down the line. Uh, where are we going, Richard, my man? We're going to line three. Where are we? In uh, Abbotsford. B.C. B.C. Roland's in Kitchener? Hi, Roland. My apologies. I got the wrong line here. Go ahead. You're live on life for hey, Corey Hunt. Uh, I'm all over the map, and I don't know a thing about tomatoes either. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'd just like to say hi, Corey. It's uh, great to see you back. Thanks, Roland. And uh, I'd just like to comment on one of your songs off your new CD called Kiss the Sky. Okay. Mm. And uh, I was just wondering, um, I, I hear uh, drumming by Kenny Aronoff, and I'd just like to say he sounds amazing. And when, when you bring a song like Kiss the Sky to the musicians, do they have a lot of input on how the song sounds in the end, or do you kind of tell them how to, to play how they play? Or That's a good question. Um, actually, you, you hit, on, hit the nail on the head when you mentioned Kenny, because uh, Kenny Aronoff, John, by the way, is, is a drummer for John Mellencamp. I, sure. I didn't, wasn't assuming that if you did or didn't know. I was just... 
I'm going to fake it. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, he um, he actually, what we do is um, I don't ever demo my songs, and uh, what I'd like to do is get as much spontaneity and as, as much fresh ideas and input when we record. But I'll, I'll go in with Kenny um, the night before, and I'll I'll play it on the piano for him, and I'll we'll work out a basic rhythm, and then uh, we'll we'll play it for the guys the next morning. And the musicians are very talented, and they're you know, they, they, they contribute their ideas, but basically, uh, being the songwriter and the producer, I have a very strong vision of where I want the song to go, right. and uh, it's fairly well painted before uh, they get a, get a crack at it. Roland, great question. Appreciate your calling in tonight. Thanks. Have a good night. Let me go to Dan in London, live on Life with Corey Hart. Hello. Hi, how you doing, Corey? How you doing? Uh, I want to start off saying it's an honor talking to you. I've been a fan of yours uh, for many, many years. Thanks very uh, much. I'm glad you called. <laughs> uh, going back to your 1985 uh, CD, Boy in the Box. Uh, I remember summer of 95, I was first introduced to it from a friend of mine. And uh, one song, and even though it's been 11 years, it's still probably one of my top five favorite songs of all time, and that's Waiting for You. I was just wondering what the, uh, the story behind that song is, like where you were when you wrote it or how that story came to be, because that song is just one amazing song. I just can't get sick of it. <laughs> Oh, I may disappoint you with my answer. Um, that song was, truthfully, I was on tour with Hall & Oates when I wrote it. I was an opening act for them uh, in, in America, and I was hearing a lot of their music. And uh, I think it, if you listen to that track pretty carefully, you'll hear some of that, their influences on it musically. And um, I really don't remember where the lyrics came from, to be honest with you. Uh, but it was written during that tour uh, when I was opening for Hall & Oates. And there you go. Wish we had more time. We've still got all kinds of calls, and uh, but I can't, for network reasons, uh, continue on with this. But it's really been you a delight. You have the power to go <laughs> another <laughs> half hour, John. I'm like Scotty on the uh, Starship <laughs> Enterprise. I've got no power, Corey. <laughs> anyway, they're uh, going to beam you up. Yes, it's just about to happen. Corey Hart's uh, CD is the seventh, but it's self-titled on Sony Music. And tomorrow night, across the country, on the CBC Television Network. What a delight! Thanks hey, all the best to you. Thank, Thank you. you. All the Thank best. Thank you to one and all. Let's do it again tomorrow night. Same place, different show. We'll see you then live on Life Good Night.